Hi everybody, Pierre Paul here. I hope that you and your families are doing well. Uh, today I've got a bit of a breaking news, although it's a few weeks old, but uh, a policy change from uh, CMHC regarding their requirements when you apply for financing. So effective this past January 15th, uh, CMHC now requires for uh, apartment buildings between five and 24 units that you obtain an appraisal from, from a qualified appraiser, obviously, but this is quite big news because uh, until then, CMHC never required us to get a formal appraisal. So there's a cost obviously associated to that, usually about $2,500 or so for an appraisal. The reason why they did this uh, is what they're saying in their uh, you know, advisory or their notice is to in intended to streamline CMHC's application assessment process, thereby reducing uh, turnaround times and improving the client experience. I sure hope so because since the pandemic, turnaround times have been ridiculous. Uh, for example, I applied for a refinance, uh, refinance application in July of last year and got it approved at the end of November, early December, and got my funding in January. All right, so, but I, I think, uh, you know, from on, on the one hand, it's bad news, uh, this policy change, because you're going to have to spend that money, $2,500 on an appraisal. However, I think it's also going to be good news for us in the long run, uh, because if you've you know, watched me or you've taken my workshop, you know that CMHC usually dings you on valuation. They never use uh, lending value that is uh, equal to market value. So if they require you to get an appraisal for, uh, from an appraiser, uh, I'm assuming, I'm hoping, and the time will tell, that they'll be closer to market value in choosing the lending value based upon which uh, they want to finance your deal. So, but uh, future will tell. So. Uh, so that's that's uh, first thing. This is the second policy change that CMHC has implemented since the beginning of the pandemic. If you recall from a previous post of mine back in uh, the summer, I think it was July 2020, uh, CMHC also kind of restricted the use of equity takeouts. When you refinance an apartment building and uh, you take money out, you take equity out. Now the use was restricted as of last summer. This was quite earth shattering to be honest with you. The, the, the use of these funds that you take out as equity is now restricted to uh, purchasing another apartment building, uh, building one construction, capital repair improvements, including uh, for efficiency, you know, energy efficiencies, uh, securing permanent financing. When you do a, a construction loan, uh, you usually take a, a bridge loan, so for securing permanent financing and certain other uses uh, determined on a case by case basis. But one thing that CMC specifically said is they don't want, they, they're not allowing uh, us to use equity takeouts to pay dividends to our investors. Now, how enforced is, is that is, uh, in my experience, it is not, but it depends on the lender. But again, time will tell. But again, I think this was also a measure to, uh, you know, reduce the number of applications that they were hammered with when the pandemic began. Uh, what else did I want to share with you very briefly? Uh, I had my last, uh, my, my most recent virtual workshop was at the end of February. Again, it was a smashing hit. I had a bunch of amazing students. I'm uh, really proud that I attract the kind of people that I really want to work with. Very smart students that ask great questions. Once again, they gave me a great evaluation uh, over nine out of 10. Uh, you know, let me read you some of the comments. Uh, I'm an engineer, so I liked the spreadsheets, breaking down the math speaks to uh, how my brain functions. I feel this was one of the most open and honest real estate training courses I have ever taken. This training took investing in multifamily uh, to a different level than what is normally presented. Pierre Paul's depth, knowledge, and case studies gave real world experience, which is not always pretty. And you know, it is experiential, so I try to give you the lowdown. Truly a full comprehensive, reputable system best real estate education I've encountered in 17 years of working full-time in real, in real estate. So really, really proud of these comments. And the good news is I'm already scheduling uh, the next one's going to be on uh, June 11th to the 13th, June 11th to the 13th. Um, and again, every time I keep trying to improve this year was a lot of uh, new case studies that we analyzed in, in class. And now, you know, it's easier for me with the technology because we have to adapt. It's all virtual. So, Keep an eye out for more free master classes. I had uh, very successful master classes on cap rates, uh, on how to finance your deals and so on. So I'll have more uh, free master classes in April and May. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And the other good news is I'm working on uh, version 2.0 of the online course. 
I like to offer it as a bundle, which is you attending the virtual workshop and having access to the online course. I merge these two things um, because I think it's the best way to learn and you can focus to be more present in class when you take the virtual course, knowing that you have the online course, uh, you know, you have access to it at home from your laptop at any time. So in the meantime, once again, I hope that you guys are doing well. You're taking care of yourselves. Uh, again, they're weird, strange times, but uh, we're going to get through this. So. I hope to see you soon. Cheers.